Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, where the video game world has now broken out into the real world. So there's all sorts of stuff going on here. Uh, we've checked out the house, but we can't actually get inside. So we're going to need to go to some other places, I believe. So let's go back to the mainframe and see about possibly going to... Which one was it that it said we should go to? Uh, we've got here... Was it Stinko Man? Was that was that the one we were supposed to go to? I can't actually remember. Let's just go to some of these and see what happens, I guess. Space circus catastrophe? No way am I going in there. Those evil space clowns are bad news, man. Oh, come on, Strong Bad. I love those performing bears, though. Hey! No! Down, boy! Down! Oh, he's already gotten attached. Now I gotta keep him. Okay, well, we got... <laughs> We got a party member, nice. Jell Arshi's pro fruit porter? That's the game the cheat was wanting to play in my bedroom. I wonder if it's any less lame when you see it on the inside. Probably not. Weird. I don't remember the Jell Arshi game looking like this. Oh my god, what, what is going on? Back here? Nobody's allowed backstage without a chaperone. Look, having to talk to you is no bowl of cherries for me either. <laughs> cherries? Where? I love cherries. Anyways, as I was saying, Bit creepy. I thought I was jumping into the game. How come you're just standing around here, not not loafing? That's because nobody's playing the game. I'm in attract mode. Again, creepy. Let's look at the it's screen. Made out of plywood and duct tape. I knew this game was cheap. But where's the craftsmanship, people? <laughs> That's why I never go backstage for the show. It ruins the magic. Hey, I can see your house for me. No, Homestar, you're only supposed to say that when you're way high up. Oh, wait. I really can see my house from here. We must be inside my own fun machine. Oh, we're in the fun machine. Okay, let's talk to Jellarshi. Oh, freak show! <laughs> hey kids, come to watch me get radical on the half pipe? No, I'm looking for anybody to help me get farther in the video game so I can kill a dragon. Well, keep looking! Around here, I'm in charge. I'm the god! And I ain't leaving till somebody hits the kill, kill, kill screen! Hey, Strongbag, what's a kill, kill, kill screen? <laughs> oh. That's when you play a video game for so long and get a score so high and have a life so depressing that you break <laughs> the video game. Oh, hey, strong man. Why is the sky blue? Go away, Homestar. You only get one question per day. <laughs> okay, yeah, and you wasted it. Well, there's Professor Pineapple over here. Oh my god, look at this. So, Professor Pineapple, got any ideas on how I can take out Trump? What? Oh, what a ripoff! He's not even real! He's just a prop! <laughs> Sometimes, after the game shuts down, I can hear him talking to me. He tells me to do things. Okay, there's a slider here. Is this just going to change? Difficulty slider? No wonder this game is so boring. Now it's set to high. Hi, I'm Joe Arshi. Oh, okay. Some Red gelatin packs. fluffy puff translucent dessert related substance. That's for the product placement at the end of every level. Gotta push those <laughs> units. I'd like to push stupid units. Alright, so there's a pineapple gun. This thing is collecting pineapples. It's a giant bin full of fresh pineapple slices. Okay. And there's assorted red fruit here as well. This must be where all the apples, cherries, and strawberries in the game come from. Can we... I'm not allowed to go near that bin anymore. Once I start, I just can't stop myself. Okay, can we do something with this? I have yet to meet the random lever that I could not push for no reason. Ah, okay, it changes it. So now we've got the berries and stuff going in. Uh, can we do anything with the pineapple gun? 
It's the professor's semi robotomatic pineapple gun. Okay, can we. What is that gonna do? The space circus bear. So, Creepzilla, this game sucks and you know it. Then how come nobody's been able to beat it yet, huh? Nobody! Okay, fine. Maybe we've got to find a way to beat it then. Let's leave for now. Okay, let's see if we can go to any of these other ones. Uh, we could go into Trogdor, I guess. The Videlectric's half athlon featuring the finest top-tier Soviet athletes that Videlectric's could afford oh to God. license. Sounds half-assed, all right. We're going in. Peasant's Quest, I think, is the one we need to go to, isn't it, actually? So we'll go there next. Wait, what? This is just... Hey, go see! Strong man, get the... <laughs> man, that looks like it hurt. I gotta do that again. <laughs> uh, can we, like, bring it back to life? Yep, there we go. As I was saying... Strong man, don't like... Mmm, that looked painful. Okay. It doesn't look like we can go in there. What's strong man do? It's a checkpoint. Hey, what's this do? Checkpoint? Okay. Do, do we have to swing over that, maybe? Let's talk to Strongmad. Hey there, Gigantor! I put shot! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! Strongmad, I'm too embarrassed. Could you get me an autograph? An autograph? It's just Strongmad. That's not just any Strongmad. He's been possessed by the 8-bit spirit of Puchnia Shotsky. Honorable mention shot put <laughs> semi-finalist of the 1982 Winter Olympics. He's my greatest sports hero. That Vidalectics could afford to like. <laughs> Alright, well, maybe we can do that, I don't know. We jump on the vine? Yeah, and nice. he sticks to landing! USA! USA! Okay. What what else is down here? Why is there a penguin and ice? Ah, uh, the obligatory ice level. Less friction, more penguins. Hello, penguins. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Okay, do we need this trophy? I love 8 bit trophies. Nilu, nilu, I don't think that trophy belongs to you, strong man. Uh. Even better. Ding da ding bong. <laughs> it's a stolen trophy, it's ours now. And we get to keep it, okay. Alright, so maybe we can use that uh, in some way. Do, do we have to go back uh, the way we came? Uh, uh, uh. I'm guessing we do. Wonder why there's nothing on this one. <laughs> Alright, can we hit the checkpoint again? Sure wish I had one of those last week when the cheat dared me to drink all that drain. Oh cleaner. god. Don't hey, ever do that. My points, checkpoint. No nobody ever do that, okay? That, that's just a terrible, terrible idea. Scorpions! Wait, I didn't realise they were scorpions. Man, those scorpions look angry. If they only had more pixels, you could see the venom dripping from their tiny pinchers. Luckily they don't. Alright, let's go back through. I want to go to Peasant's Quest, because that was the one that was mentioned in the last episode, right? So, we've got, uh, Stinko Man 20 by 6 we've got Trogdor, and we've got Peasant's Quest. There's also the Code Wheel. Let's go into Peasant's Quest. Dost thou have yon answer for mine riddle? What is Paul Revere's favourite ice cream flavour? Ah, uh, yeah, we had to figure out this crap, didn't we? How am I supposed to get some Invisa glasses? They haven't made those since Die Dungeon Man Zero. No text edition. Then thou art well and truly doomed. The secret art of looking at things through red translucent cellophane has been lost to the mists of time. Yeah, that's right. We've got to figure out these other bits and pieces. Uh, let's go into Stinko Man then. Stinko Man 20XT6. 
Yes, I believe I am asking for a challenge. <laughs> Region locked. Aww. Oh man, what kind of crappy alternate reality can't play imported video games? Yeah, that's pretty crap. All right, let's go into Trogdor. Character not found. Mm. I guess the Trogdor game would be pretty lame without the Trogdor. True. All right, well that that sort of makes our options quite small then, doesn't it? Will he go into the space circus catastrophe? No. All right. Well, let's go back to Strong Bad's cool game. Cool game for attractive people. I hope that's one of those games with like guns and swords and setting things on fire, and not one of those boring use pie on cat type jobs. <laughs> All right, Trogdor's still in the background. So, we can... Where should I put the Vitelectrix half-athalon on my map? Okay, so we can see the ghosts still in the background. So it looks like we can actually jump straight into these places, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got the stick, the house is strong. What was it he said when we tried to go into the house? There was a comment about another game or something, wasn't there? We needed a light. How am I supposed to see anything in here? Leave this place. I need to find that light musket. Right, a light musket. So where was the light musket? I can't even remember where it said it was now. Can we get to Strong Bad here? Huh? <laughs> Just on fire. Can we take something like this? Strong badia. Population tragedy. <laughs> God. Okay. So we've got I mean we've got a trophy. I don't know what we can do with that. The flag is half burnt. How could Trogdor burn and ate my flag? He and that snake holding a big knife are practically cousins. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, we don't have the metal detector anymore because it broke, so that's that's that idea is out the window. Um, Alright, so. Hang on, what's going on here? Marzipan looks angry. Oh. What was that all about? All kinds of weird going on, Strong Bad. There was that big flickering and flashing in the sky. And then Marzipan went plum loco balanco. See what I mean? <laughs> yep. Oh, is Marzipan having one of our episodes again? You just gotta pretend you're listening to him. Let me handle this. Yes, Marzipan, you're right, of course. Good point. Missed me. You call that a throw? Give her the old one, two. <laughs> oh. Hey, that was my favorite bush. I wonder what's behind there. So let's clear the path. Okay. Also, can we open this crate? Marzi Kong was tossing these things around like she's got an infinite <laughs> Marzi Kong. Do we have any items we can... Can we, like, try and use the key on it? No, I don't think so. Uh... Key this on the key only works on the door to my trog door machine, and maybe any other trog door doors. Yeah, maybe. All right, well, let's see what's behind there then. Let's let's just let's just go through and, and see what's. Oh God, it's the poop smith. <laughs> All right, he's got a bucket here. I've been in enough of these quote unquote adventure games. <laughs> this thing's supposed to hold rivets. Yep. All right, poop smith, what's going on? Yo, poop smith. Let's build something. What? Psst, strong bad. Just between you, me, and the interface layer? I don't think the Poopsmith's playing with a full bucket. He thinks he's Mr. Fix-It from that old construction walk uh. Wow, that's old school. Well, Fix-It, how would you like to join me in my epic quest to, uh, rebuild reality? It's one heck of a fixer-upper. What is that? 
Buckshot? Chicken feed? A bunch of ellipses? Is that it? Do you need ellipses? Does he need rivets, I'm guessing? I'm guessing he's saying that he needs rivets. Intriguing. Or dare I say, riveting. Ah, the dad joke. Uh, okay, so is there anything... There, there's... A, what is that? Whoa, I almost stepped in... Snake boxer? Oh, I get it. <laughs> I almost didn't see you there. What with you being two-dimensional and all. <laughs> can we... You know your blocky fists of fury can come in pretty handy. Wanna join my party to save reality? Yep, apparently so. Snake boxer has joined our party. Nice. So I wonder if we can use some of these things to on items, like some of these party members. I bet most of Strong Sand's savings that this crate has something interesting. Probably. In well, that's not opening. Yeah, but maybe we can use the snake boxer on it. Boxer Joe. All right, snake boxer, do your stuff. <laughs> Why won't he hit that? Guy's got a thing for snakes, Strong Man. Don't ask him about it. He gets real quiet and does that thousand yard stale. Oh yeah. Right, so I guess we're gonna have to make there be a snake or something on there for him to be able to do it. Well, we've made some progress. It looks like we've got party members which are gonna help us out as well. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcadies Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, and Barry Aldridge for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.